Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. here happy holidays it's december you know what that means deals galore a lot of you guys have constantly been asking me about the closet since you've seen it on instagram it is really insane in here still need to clean up some people are like yo bro are you in a store right now i know it looks crazy right like it's insane on top of that look at this huge rig that i'm dealing with bro i got the mic here the camera the monitor this whole heavy i wanted to show you guys my stone island collection today but ain't nothing too crazy right now i'm wearing Shadow Project hoodie. This has got to be one of my favorite hoodies. It's just super tough. Ooh, will you teach me how to do? You know what? And also thanks to today's sponsor, Shop Tagger. We have a thousand dollar giveaway coming. Rules are super simple. All you guys got to do is create a Shop Tagger account. If you don't know what Shop Tagger is, let's get into it. So if you guys do not know what Shop Tagger is, Shop Tagger is basically an extension or an application that allows you to save items. Let's say you're looking for Stone Island, but you can't buy it right now because it's too expensive. You're waiting for it to go on sale. This will actually notify you when it is on sale. So I'll bring you guys over to my dashboard so you guys can check it out. Uh, first and foremost, this is what it's gonna look like when you log in. I have my list. Right now I have a Stone Island tab. Uh, a few different items that I'm on the lookout for. I definitely want this puffer jacket, but 850 is a little harsh, so I'm waiting for that to go on sale. And the hat, I'm almost positive that's gonna go on sale eventually. Neiman Marcus, usually at the end of the year, wants to get rid of stuff. So for example, we'll go on a site, I'll use Neiman Marcus, we can even use uh, Essence. They're having a sale that's going on right now. So you guys can click the link down below to check that out. You can see swim shorts, all this good stuff, right? All on sale. So what do we got here that's fire? It's all fire, baby. So, you know, some swim shorts, right? We got the nylon metal. Uh, pretty much every size is sold out right now. But let's say I wanted to go with the 2X. I can save this item, add it to that specific list. Boom, done deal. Now you can open this and choose what exactly you want to know. So I want it to notify me when it is 50% off, right? Stone Island, select the size. Uh, let's say I'm waiting for most likely a large to come back in stock. I'm gonna go ahead and update that and boom, it'll notify me when that is live. So it's really just a great extension to have, especially around this time of year when you're trying to save some money and there's a product that you really like, but you don't wanna, damn, these are fire real quick, but you don't wanna spend that money on there. I'm definitely adding these to my list, all blacked out. Size large, uh, boom. It's really this simple. I mean, typically stuff doesn't go 25% off, so I'm gonna, it usually goes a little bit more, but I'll let it notify me when it goes 25% off. And then I'm gonna add that to my Stone Island. Boom, hit save, and there we go. Now it is over at my list. Go ahead and refresh the page, and boom. Then you guys can see what's in my list. Go back to my Stone Island tab, and you can do this for anything, clothing, sneakers, really whatever. There's even a tab right here where you can see all the stores that are available to check out. Another thing that I really like when you do check out, it automatically tries to apply coupon codes if there are any. So this will save you a lot of time. Boom, as you can see, coupons found from Shop Tagger. I feel lucky. I'm gonna test out all the codes for you. That one doesn't work right now. Let's wait it out and see if anything comes up. This is a nice little feature, the fact that it just does it for you and you just sit back, relax, eat snacks. <laughs> and then you know if there isn't a coupon code at the time, it says no buyer's remorse here. You already have the best price, $515. Woo! To get this extension, it's really easy. Just click the link down below. It's gonna take you to a Chrome Web Store. You can go ahead and install it and boom, sign up for an account. And that's also going to enter you in that thousand dollar giveaway that they got going on. The rules are pretty simple. All you gotta do is create an account and make sure you tag two items within this month. You can enter all the way up until the 14th of December. It started on December 1st. The winner will be selected on the 15th. You'll be emailed and boom, thousand dollars cash is all yours. Make sure you guys go check it out, but let's get back into the video. All right, we're back. Now let's get into the stony guys. And now I'm not gonna lie, I went a little crazy with all of this stuff. Like it is just ridiculous but I'm glad to have it. I'll get into some of the reasons that I like Stone Island and first and foremost, we'll just show you a few of the different pieces that I have. So I really haven't been collecting Stone Island that long. And to be honest, I couldn't afford it in the first place. It's really expensive. I mean, if you know about Stone Island, it's pricey. And the reason being is just, honestly, I feel like it's a cult. It's an Italian brand, a lot of stuff is made in Italy, but you also have other things that are kind of outsourced. Not in Italy, which, kind of sucks especially when you're paying that premium price then i really just feel like it's a huge markup for the brand name now i'm not even gonna hold you guys i paid retail for one of these i think i paid at least four or five hundred dollars for these shadow project pants pick these up at la brea 
Huge shout out to the homie Brian. I even got 10% off. It was still expensive. It low key hurt me. And after that, I realized that they have plenty of sales. So really, I got all of this at least 30 or 40% off. Now when I buy Stone Island, it has to be at least 35, 40% off. That's just my own rule for myself. I, there's no reason to pay all that money. Unless it's something that you're like dying over and you really want. Typically it goes on sale, especially this time of year. That's why I decided to make the collection video now, just because I don't want you guys just like, damn, that must be nice. I can't buy any of it. Really you can. Uh, you save up some money and you know, get it 40% off. You'll be happy. I think there's nothing better than knowing that you got a deal, at least for me. So I'll start you guys off with my rarest piece, I guess you could say. Uh, this is the ice jacket. I believe this released in 2010. The cool thing about this is when you go out in the cold, it's basically heat activated. So the jacket will change colors as you touch it. So like, let's say we were out in the cold, you can kind of see that it's darker blue right now. If I hold my hand on there and just get a little bit of heat, it gets a little bit lighter blue. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this is tough, like great material, super warm. I love this jacket. I ended up picking this up on eBay actually. A lot of, you can get a lot of deals on eBay, but you gotta really look out because there's a lot of fakes on eBay. So you gotta make sure you don't get finessed for that. eBay's really a slippery slope when it comes to Stone Island. I mean, I even use stuff like Grail. I'd rather just get it directly from a retail store, but you know, sometimes it doesn't always work that way when you're looking for stuff that was released previously. Now the hoodie that I have on right here, this is a Shadow Project hoodie. You got the blacked out uh, patch. And it's just cool. Like I really rock with this. It's kind of oversized and it's honestly great, especially here in Colorado when it's a little cold. I just want to be comfortable. I want everything all tight. So this is definitely probably one of my favorite hoodies that I have. Now let's get into what you see up here. Uh, another good eBay, which I got a steal on. I'm still kind of like iffy on this jacket. So this is Stone Island. Let's see what's that. See the Stone Island made in Italy. I got this for $50, bro, on eBay. Uh, I don't know if it's questionable. I mean, you even have the tips that say Stone Island on them. I don't know. It's a really well put together jacket. So I don't, it would be, I don't believe it's fake, man. I don't know. But the fact that I got it for $50 and you can see like the made in Italy, it's, it's a clean jacket. And it's one of those things where, you know, sometimes people that were into Stone Island years upon years ago, they're just like, I don't really wear it anymore, so I'm just getting rid of it. So I took that as, I just got a steal. It was bidding, I put in the bid, nobody outbidded me and I got it for $50. So that is like the biggest steal so far that I've gotten on a Stone Island piece, so I'm happy about it. And like I said, I got at least 30 to 40% off on all these items, so I'm not really gonna give you guys any more prices, just know I got deals on them. And I'll put links down below to different sites because right now is like the best time to buy Stone Island through the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then towards the end of the year. They really just try to liquidate everything because the new season is coming in. So you guys can check out those links down below or come back at a later date after Christmas and check it out. So I got this purple long sleeve. What I like about this is it's heathered. There's kind of like a blue tint to it. One thing that's annoying about Stone Island is everything is so inconsistent, but you can see this piece was actually made in Turkey. But like I said, the sizing is oh, so inconsistent. Like this is a large, it does fit. Sometimes stuff is just a little too snug. I got this turtleneck and like a charcoal color. This is just fire. Then I have this all blacked out crew neck. Uh, I've worn this a lot. You know, you can usually tell if you've worn it a lot just based on the patch. It just, uh, just starts to look worn out. Which I like, I don't like the patch looking all new. Like that means you ain't wearing your clothes. Then we have this 3MT. I love the neck lining on this one. And of course the Stone Island all in 3M. I wore this actually to a Sneakertopia event. I, this shirt just has memories, man. Like I really like this. I love the fit on it. I did get this in but a large. And that's the thing I'm talking about. Like sometimes I need a large, sometimes I need an extra large, sometimes I need a 2XL. Like it's just so inconsistent. If I could give you any advice for picking up the tops and hoodies, it's just size up one or two, depending on how you like the fit. This is from the Nylon Metal collection that was 2018. This right here is fire. Like I love this piece. I really love the nylon metal that they dropped back in 2018. New nylon metal collection that they dropped. I wasn't really too big of a fan of. I think I thought they really killed this one. This just looks like a spacesuit. And then we have the archive long sleeve. Ended up getting this for super cheap. I think it was like 80% off on the back. You know, it kind of gives you a diagram of just one of the collections that they had, some of the details on it, and it, it actually has like a felt material. It's kind of crazy. I got this from Neiman Marcus, actually. This was only, shoot, bro, maybe like $30 for this. 
they were really trying to get rid of their stuff. This is kind of like an ice tint, a little purple hue. Again, it says Autumn Winter 1819. Uh, sportswear company spa stone island headquarters this is a cool little tee which i got this in an xl now i do have plenty of pants but i'll just give you guys the other tops that i got i got this last year one thing that i like about stone island is that it's just not very like kiddish you know you can really wear it on every occasion versus something like pleasures that i have over here there's been so many times where i have like older people come up to me like pleasures i can't feel my face <laughs> the stuff they come up with today. And I'm like, damn, yeah. It low-key don't look very professional. This, on the other hand, you know, you can wear this and it's just more mature. And I'm I'm 25 now. I, can't, I don't really like to dress like a child. I never was really into like Bape and I, I tried out the Supreme thing, but genuinely, I don't think I really like Supreme like that. I think I just got caught into the hype and the views of that. I really could care less about Supreme. There's a few pieces that are dope, like when they collab with North Face, or with Nike, or what else did I get? Champion was pretty hard, but other than that, I'm just not really into Supreme. I'd rather have a pretty dope Stone Island collection. I just think it's more mature, but it still is like true to yourself in the sense of like culture and streetwear. Stone Island's one of those things, if you know, you know, and if you wanna get into, it's pretty easy. You know, there's obviously those people that are like hardcore, you ain't from wherever, blah, 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 hey, whatever, dude. We're, pe people are weird when it comes to clothes. It's like buying some sneakers and like a sneakerhead coming up to you like, you can't buy those sneakers because you're not a sneakerhead. It's like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? People are weird. Let me just tell y'all, if you like something, just buy it, bro. Like, you don't gotta be a part of nothing. You don't gotta know nothing. Just buy it, you like it. I'm done with my rant. I just, I just wanted you guys to know that. Like, if you like sneakers, buy sneakers. If you like Stone Island, buy Stone Island. Like, it's that simple. If you like Supreme, Buy Supreme, bro. I ended up picking this up in a 2XL and it fits me really well. The reason I got this is more for like a casual night out, you know, during the holidays. It's just a cool little salmon color and it's super light. So I'm really digging this. I love this piece. And again, like I said, I normally wear a large. I got this in a 2XL. I'm 6'3", 190. And like I told you guys, things really just vary. Now, on the other hand, I have this purple garment dyed hoodie i love this hoodie now this is also an xl and this bad boy fits tight like muscles booming like if i if i'm not 190 that day i cannot wear this like it's super tight but it does look really good this is another one of my really favorite hoodies i just love the color purple and i feel like you don't see it too often so i love to pull that out another dope hoodie that i have right here it's like sherpa but also athletic get the nylon metal on the sides with zipper pockets which i really love uh, there's also a zipper on the side of this that goes all the way up the armpit now i do wish i would have got this in a 2xl because this bad boy fits snug bro <laughs> i still have the tag in this i've actually worn this plenty of times and there's still a tag in here retail on this 528 dollars like tell me that's not just ridiculous there's no way I paid that. I probably got 40% off. I might even have got 70% off. I've been lucky with these deals. Like there's been some huge sales where it seems like they're just trying to get rid of the stock as soon as possible. So they've dropped it down really low. I think the most I've seen off is probably 80% and that was on Bodega. And then here's another really cool piece that I got, but honestly, I don't wear. I just haven't found the weather that is kind of digging this. This is the Anorak jacket, garment dyed blue. Now it looks really cool, but I don't know, I think maybe it's just too small for me. Like, and this was expensive, honestly. I think this might've been one of those things that I paid a little more for, and I wish I would've got a bigger size. This was just kind of unique to me. I think that's why I bought it in the first place. But you know, this might be one of those purchases that I kind of regret just because it is a little too small. I mean, I can't wear it, but Loki, I might have to go run on the treadmill, dog. But I do really like it. All right, now let's get into the pants. Now I have tons of nylon metal pants. I love these, ended up getting them in the purple, got it in the red, and of course the black, probably my most worn Stone Island piece is these pants right here. I'm wearing them everywhere, they're super comfortable, and cargos are just, they're timeless, bro. Like, I'll, I'll probably, I'll never grow out of those. They're just so comfortable. They just look fire, bro, especially with like, some like ones or some Air Forces, they look crazy. I wish I would've got like the silver color in these, but hard to find now, they sold out everywhere. And then I have some just basic cargos. They're all kind of the same. I ended up getting them in the olive. I think Need Supply had a sale. It was 40% off. So I got the olive color, I got the navy, and then I got kind of like this ice, but also white. I don't know, it's really confusing. Like you almost have to see it in person. It's like a cream color. Here's another pair that I regret buying because I just don't know what to wear them with. This is really like a bluish ice 
which originally I thought these were gonna be white. Got these from Bodega, they were 70% off. That's kind of the reason I bought them. I'm like, oh, I could use another pair of pants. So still trying to figure out what fit to go with these, but not my most proud purchase. And then these are the kind of the pants that started it all, these shadow. Uh, I really feel like I could go snowboarding in these, to be honest. They're water resistant. I bought them in LA, which was too damn hot to even wear them there, but I figure once I come back to Colorado, I'll really wear these. It's a more thick material and you have like that blacked out patch right here. There you go. So, I mean, that hurt. I paid like $450 for these. Don't know what I was thinking, but it's not like I don't like them. The good thing about black is you can always wear it and it matches anything. So definitely happy to have these, especially when it snows, I can wear them and you know, kind of swag it. And I really love the shadow just because it's kind of like subtle, like, Nobody's gonna know it's Stone Island and let, like, if you know, you know. It's one of those kind of things. And then I ended up getting two pairs of sweats that were also 60% off at Bodega. Uh, they had some steals, man. I low-key don't even want to tell y'all where I got them because I don't want y'all to be snatching up all the stuff. But I love these, super comfortable. Pants, just so you guys know, pants always run true to size. So just whatever your true waist is, make sure you go with that. Uh, depending on if you want them a little looser, like for me, for example. If I want them a little bit looser, I'll get an extra large. If I want them kind of tighter, large. And there's no problems with that. Pants are always true to size. I've never had a problem with those. So for example, here is one that I bought. Retail on this was like $759. Again, stupid steal on these, bro. I think I paid like $190 for these. Retail was like seven or 800. I paid 190, like that's crazy. I wish I would've got these in a size 34. I ended up getting them in a 36. Oh, the tag is actually still here. Again, another pant that I've worn. So $718 was retail. Uh, I got them in a 36. I wish I would've got a 34 just cause, so they would fit a little bit better. Either way, I'm still happy with them. They're dope. And then my two other pants, I got a black pair of just, I mean, these are in a sense cargos. I've worn these a lot, like they look beat. They might need to go to the dry cleaners cause they look kind of nasty. I really like these just cause there's a lot of zipper pockets and they're just more casual, very subtle. You know, you got the logo on the leg as usual. And then my biggest regret is these white pants right here. They have a stain on them that just won't come out, man. I've tried everything. I don't know if you guys have any recommendations on how to get the red out of these pants, I would be so grateful because these are fire, like Stone Island doesn't really drop white cargos anymore and these just are super clean. And there it is guys, that is my entire Stone Island collection, you know, I got a little sum sum. I think the only other pieces that I'm really looking out for is maybe just some more denim. I want the jeans with like the patch on the back, that's probably one thing that I'll be looking forward to go on sale. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was a little bit different, I don't know, I don't know what to expect out of this video, I just kind of showed you the pieces, I didn't really try them on, I don't know if you guys want like try on. I figured if you watched my videos long enough you've seen me wear each piece at some point yeah man that's it that's pretty much all i have like i said i'll put a bunch of links down below so you guys can just go check them out they might have a sale they might not i just know around this time of year it's like a great time to really just unload if you want to pick up some stuff so be sure to check those out but this is your boy sneaker life i'll catch you guys in the next one